Where did you grow up? Uh, in Brodeen. It, it, it's a continuation of Spittal, Spittal Street. Hmm. Yeah, which is now Father Matthew Street. But in, in, my, in my time it was Spittal Street and Brodeen. Um, how did your area get its name? Well, the Spittal end of it, as far as I know, uh, got its name from, at one time there, there was a, a hospital. <coughs> Uh, in, in the, I think it was a fever hospital or something like that, you know, but Spittal Hospital. So th that's why it was called Spittal Street. What kind of house did you live in? A, a small house. Uh, we, we, we had three bedrooms. And, and, and uh, th th that was it. Like, it was pretty small, but it was comfortable. Um, did you have any running, running water and electricity? Oh, we had, yes, yep. Yeah. Where did you go to school? Uh, the Boys National School in, in, in St. Michael Street in Tip. And where did you go to secondary school? Uh, in the Christian Brothers. In, in, originally in, 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 in the hills and afterwards in the Abbey. Can you remember the names of any of your teachers? Oh, well, indeed I can. Uh, you had Michael Flynn, he was the, the, the headmaster. He'd be Kieran Flynn's father, no, like, you know, the sister's father. Uh, you had Bill O'Hanran, uh, you had Jim Russell, and you had Chucky Healy. We never knew what his real name was, but we called him Chucky. He, he was a native of Bantry in, 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 in Cork. What shops did your family visit, and for what? Well, the, 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 the shops were, were local. We, we said they were small shops. There they, they, they were Fennelys and Lowry's. Uh, they, 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 they'd been in, in, in for the street, like, you know, and, and we wouldn't have to go up in, into the centre of town, like, because uh, Finnelly's now, and, and, and uh, be, before Finnelly's, actually, there, there was a, a shop, it was the same shop, Horns, but they bought a farm down around Feathers, and, and Finnelly's took that one, because Finnelly's had a smaller shop across the street. And that's, that's where that little supermarket is there now, like, in, down there. Uh, if, if you did your, your shopping, we, we did bigger shopping than you, we were going to further up the street. And Lipton's w w would have been one of the, 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 the main groceries, like uh, Kelly's, Coleman's. And, and th those would be the principal grocery stores. Now, you, then you, you had tailors. Uh, Quite, quite close to us in Brodine, you had Danny Nugent. Uh, he, he was a, a tailor. He, he had a, a shop over there in, in the next street over, what's this? Davis Street. Davis street. Uh, he had a shop there, a tailor shop. Cassans, I remember well. Uh, Maloney's, that would be Mara Kirby's now, like, you know. Uh, he was a member of the first stall, uh, Dr. Maloney. And, 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 uh, he, he, another came to fame he had was, was, was this, uh, I, I think one of his, his sisters was, was, was Kevin Barry's mother who was executed in, in, in 1916, after 1916, because in 1916, Kevin, Kevin Barry, you know the famous song Kevin Barry? Yeah, was it considered unlucky to transact business on certain days? Didn't uh, here the, the the one thing it was like that that there's uh, Hansel Monday you, you didn't give out money that, that that was I think after New Year the Monday after New Year's Day it was known as Hansel Monday and and, and it, it said it wasn't lucky to to pay out money on, on that day like you know and where the market said locally can you describe the market fair or market well the the the, the fairs and once a month. The, 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 there were very, very big fairs, as you can imagine. Uh, the, the fair green held the most of them because it was so convenient to the railway station. And when, when, when the, all, all, the cattle were all for export anyway, like that, that were sold. And you had the big fellas down there in the fair green, but then you had the smaller crowd around the, 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 the street. And uh, I can tell you, the smell wasn't too nice because they, they came in there at four o'clock, half four in the morning. And, and they, 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 actually, when we lived in Church Street afterwards, 
uh, they came down as far as Church Street there, yeah, you know. And it would take two or three years then for the council to, to get rid of them up. And was luck money ever given? Always. It was a custom that, that, that you had to have luck money. If you didn't, there probably wouldn't be any trade, like, you know. Um, where did you sit in life, church? Well, we, uh, the men sat on the left, the women sat on the right, and you had the two middle uh, pews, but you had paid threepence to, to win there. And men and women could win there, like, provided you paid your threepence. The, 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 the big one on the left and the big one on the right were free. Um, what priests were in the parish? No, there was Archdeacon Nola. He was a, a big man, he was about six feet five or six. Uh, you had uh, Father McGrath, you had uh, Father McGrath, your Father Nicholas O'Ryan. No, Father Nicholas, uh, he was a great Gaelic league man, and every St. Patrick's Day, our sermon was in, through the medium of Irish. Uh, your father Morrissey, who was kind of a near uh, a few miles out of Kilfield direction. He was afterwards parish priest in, in, in Borlahan, I think. And uh, afterwards then, we, 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 of course we had changes. Uh, you, you, you had Father Hammersley, he was another one. And, and, and you were the famous father he is. And you remember your first communion day? I, I tell you, I can. <laughs> For the simple reason that somebody bought me a pair of football boots. And that, that was my outstanding memory, that I got a pair of football boots for my first communion. <laughs> I haven't taken them off since. Um, were there many priests or nuns or Christian brothers in the locality? Oh, there I, 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 Actually, uh, you, 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 you had, I suppose, 10 or 12 Christian brothers. And you, you had the, the parish priest and four curates. And then you had the nuns. Now I wouldn't know an awful lot about the nuns. But, but uh, yeah, the, 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 oh, oh yes, and, and then you had the novitiates in, in Kilshan. Uh, that, that was the Holy Ghost novitiates. And there were about a hundred uh, candidates for the church out there in Kilshan. And once a month they, they'd walk in to go to confession. And, 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 and they, 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 they were there up to, well, no, they're gone for quite a while now, like, but just shows you the changing times that they've over a hundred there in, 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 in that one place, like, you know. Um, were there any, like, famous religious people in, like, the locality? Famous religious people? The only one of me, Father Hayes, I'd say. Uh, he, he, he founded Muint on the Tierra. And, 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 and he was like a breath of fresh air to come into the town. He organised everything practically. He was responsible for getting the Lionel factory. He was responsible for, for the, the setting up of the gloving factory. And he used to have civic weeks. The, 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 the town would have a kind of a carnival for a week. And then he, he had the, the, the open week for Muit and the Theatre where they used to go off to different places. Um, but a wonderful man, uh, you, you, you'll enjoy this. Uh, confessions would be on, of course, every Saturday night from seven to nine, and uh, the, 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 the all, he, all four priests uh, would be hearing, and and and, and they are speaking. But uh, there'd be big, big gaps in the other ones. But Father Hayes, there was always a queue. <laughs> One of his favourite sayings was, "Did you kill anybody? If you didn't." Were all right. And the reason he asked you, did you kill anybody, was murder was a reserved sin in our days, and you had to go to the bishop to be a of murder. <laughs> so he couldn't do it, and that's why, did you kill anybody? Uh, could you tell us about John McCormick? Well, he, he was a famous uh, Irish tenor. Uh, he, he sang in opera, uh, but, but he was more famous for, for, for he, the, the, the songs he recorded. I heard him, believe it or not, in 1932, it was the year of the Eucharistic Congress, and he, 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 uh, after the conclusion of the Congress, he sang at the Rock of Cashel. And, and uh, my mother brought me the, to, to, to Cashel anyway, to, I, I can, a big, huge big crowd at the Rock of Cashel to, to listen to John McCormick. Uh, 
And can you recall any famous matches played in your area? I, I, I can. Uh, the, 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 the majority of the big matches were, 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 were uh, hurling matches. Of course, Annex Hafti had, had, had a, a, a very good team at one stage there, and they won a county championship. And four or five of their lads played hurling with chip like, you know. Uh, we weren't too successful, but we won, uh, I, I think, a county football cha championship in 1942. I wasn't playing on that, I was too young, like, you know. And did you travel far to matches? Well, the, the, the war started in, in 1939, and of course, no, I, I was only, what, 13 in 39, but as, as, as the war wore on, I got older, naturally enough, and it didn't finish until 1945. But it was no bother to us to get up on our bicycles and cycle to Thurlis, which would be 24 miles each way, cycle to Limerick, the, 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 the same leg, you know? And what players were renowned in this area in your youth? Pardon? What players were renowned in this area in oh, your youth? Oh, yeah, well, well for, for, the, for the football, I, I can talk about a bit Rovers now, like Tom Power, uh, the two O'Donoghues, uh, Billy and Paddy, they all played for the county. Uh, Andy Greensmith, a brother of Harry's, he was killed in, 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 in the Blitz in Limerick, in, in London during the war afterwards. Uh, they, they, they were all excellent footballers. Well, 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 then you had the Anacarty contingent uh, of the Horning. You had Philly de Castle, uh, you had, uh, what else had you? Tom Burke. Uh, from, from, from Salahad, you had Martin Larkin, and they all played for the county, like, you know? Um, tell us a bit more about the Tipperary Club. Well, it was a social club, if you like. It was a home from home for an hour out of us. Because during the winter, like, uh, except going to, going to go to the pictures, uh, there was no place else to go, like, okay, or a pub, which, which we didn't do because we had no money to go there. But uh, you, you had you had a, a billiard table there, and you had a table tennis table, and, and, and uh, you, you played billiards or snooker or, or, or a game of table tennis, like, keep your feet. And then the, the, the older members, we, we were the young fellas, and, and, and the older members, they had their cards at school. They, they used to play 45 or play as poker. If they, the the wealthiest of them, wealthy of them they used to play poker, and the poorer crowd would play 45. What was the cinema like? Oh, the cinema was lovely. Uh, well, there were two cinemas there, actually. But the, the one was built, the Excel, where the Excel is now like that. That was built uh, new, and uh, a lovely cinema. Uh, you had three changes of a film a week on two on two cinemas. That was six changes, so you were never kind of stuck uh, to, to go to a, a film. And on Sunday night you had to book, otherwise uh, you, you wouldn't get a seat. Now there was a third cinema, but it had, it had closed. It was the Tivoli. It was up in O'Brien Street, Henry Street. And, and, and a family called O'Donnell's had that. Uh, and... and, and, and uh, A, a family called O'Donnell's had the, 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 the Tivoli, and if you were stuck for money, uh, they'd accept jam jars. So you, you, you brought your three, three or four jam jars and you got into the cinema for uh, Something I, 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 I meant to say uh, was that, that uh, my father used to tell me about the local poets, and one of them was Darby Ryan from Banshee. Now, Darby's claim to fame was that he, he wrote the satirical poem the peeler and the goat. Uh, I, I, I think of a, a little bit of it in, in a minute. The banter peelers went out one night on juicy and patrolling all. They met an old goat upon the road and took him to be a stroller all. Oh, mercy, sir, the goat replied, I am no Whig or Tory or oh, make him a gate, let go of me head, let go of me leg, or I puck you with me horn no. Would you have another song? What would you like to hear? Um, anything. Anything. Uh, no, the Garden of Eden has vanished, they say, but I know the lie of it still. I turn to the left at the bridge of Fenny, 
and start from halfway to Coot Hill. It's there you'll find it, I know sure enough, when fortune has come to my call. For the grass it is green around Bally James Duff, and the blue sky is over it all. And tones that are tender, and tones that are gruff, the whispers come over the sea. Ah, uh, come back, Paddy Riley, to Bally James Duff. Come home, Paddy Riley, to me. No. Uh, thank you very much, Jackie. You're welcome. You're welcome.